So one of the most anticipated sports titles of the year in EA Sports FC24 is now available for consoles, PC and of course the ROG Ally. And the great thing is, is that all of us Game Pass Ultimate users get a full 10 hour free trial to test out which is awesome. Here is a guide to get the game running at a rock solid 60 frames per second using a custom 18 watt profile, the best fan curve so the ally doesn't run too hot, a fix for the loading screen issue that many of us are having and some first impressions. Plus a look at a dock for the ally that is perfect for playing FC24 on a TV against your friends. So let's dive straight in and for step one, let's head to the EA app to download the game. And as I say, if you're not a football fan, then perhaps test out with the trial. But if money is tight, then it's available on the EA Play subscription. With the game downloaded, next for step two, let's head to Armory Crate, go to settings, then operating mode, then GPU settings, then change the VRAM to five gigabyte, then restart our ally. For step three, let's create a manual 18 watt TDP by going to Armory Crate, then settings, then operating mode, click manual, then under CPU, change the SPL to 18, SPPT to 18 and FPPT to 20. For step four, let's optimize the fan curves by adjusting fan one to this and fan two to this. You may want to pause the video on each of these to get your fan curves the same as mine. Finally, let's save our settings by clicking the check mark, then click yes. Click the three dots and rename, which in my case, I'm going to name it to 18 watts. For step five, we need to apply this new 18 watt profile to the game by heading to game library. Highlight the game we want to edit, which in this case is FC24 and press the X button. Click configuration, then operating mode DC and select here our new operating mode we just created. And the next time we launch the game, it will now be applied. The game is now set up with the best settings. Hooray! By the way, if you've learned something so far in the video, then hit that like and subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of these great tutorials because you guys are awesome. Okay, now let's fix the title screen issue and apparently ASUS are investigating this and are working on a fix. So let's hope that they get this out ASAP as many of us on social media are quite rightly pretty upset that we have to do this workaround. For step one, download the previous graphic driver, link is in the description and the file should end in 34912. Next for step two, press the start button, search for device manager and open it. Scroll down to display adapters, right click on the AMD Radeon graphics and click properties. Click on the driver tab at the top, click uninstall device, click the check mark next to attempt to remove the driver for this device and click uninstall. For step three, let's find the graphics driver updates that we just downloaded, which in my case is in the downloads folder. Install it by clicking yes, then okay, and next buttons on all of the various prompts during the installation steps. Then simply restart your ally to complete the process. After restarting, let's head back into device manager and we should be on the previous graphic driver dated 20th of July, instead of the brand new graphic driver that we just uninstalled that was dated the 17th of August. And for step four, just launch FC24 and now it will get past the title screen in less than two minutes. 
there may be a chance at some point that you get a direct X error message. And if this happens, simply go to my documents and delete this entire game profile folder called FC24. Just to note that this older driver may cause issues with other games, notably Starfield, in which case updating back to the latest driver works the same way in device manager and the latest graphic driver that we've now uninstalled, there is a link to in this description. Let's just double check we have the right settings in display configuration. Refresh rate is 120 Hertz. Frame rate is either 90 or 120. Turn vertical sync to off. Dynamic scale is off. Cutscene quality is set to full. Auto is on for the next three options and just turn crowd quality to low. And as you can see in our new 18 watt custom TDP, we're getting a locked in 60 frames per second for super smooth gameplay. Let's finish off with some first impressions of FC24 and the first noticeable difference is that the new overhauled menus do feel a lot easier to navigate and get to where you need to be within the game. The next key difference is that EA have really stepped up the incredible overall presentation even more this year. There's some amazing locker room cutscenes that really get you pumped for the match ahead. In terms of the actual gameplay, it's just as slick, often tense and captivating as ever, making this the best football or for you great American viewers soccer game that is currently available. And if you're more of a casual football fan like I am, then of course there is so much fun to be had in the Volta mode, where the frantic pace offers Super Mario Strikers type vibes, and my kids especially enjoy this frenetic, energetic play. A big shout out to Ellie at Ivanki for sending me their 6-in-1 USB-C gaming dock to try out with the Ally. First impressions are that it feels really solid and sturdy with a sleek finish and on the back is a 1 gig Ethernet port, a 2.0 HDMI that supports 4K at 60Hz, 3 USB-A 5 gig ports which is sweet, a 100 watt max PD power input and the USB-C plug that of course fits into the Ally. It's great to see that this dock supports 30 watt turbo mode when the official Ally charge is plugged into the PD power slot in the back. And yes, this dock is perfect for playing FC24 against friends on the main TV or your gaming monitor. So if you are looking for a brand new dock, then you really can't go wrong with this six in one from Ivanki. Link is in the description to purchase yours. I'd love to hear what you think about this new FC24, so let us know in the comments. And as a little extra bonus for watching right to the end, I'd love to share this awesome quote. The best revenge is no revenge. Just forget that they exist. We all have people in our lives who have caused us pain, but don't stay mad or get revenge. Just move on and stay encouraged today, guys. And check this video out if you want to get instant sign in on the ROG Ally in just three simple steps. I appreciate every single one of you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.